Yeah, you're right then lads, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today what we've got is a uh, quick little investing, um, investing slash trading, whatever you really want to call it. It probably does fall more under the uh, investing category. However, um, today we're basically basically going to be teaching you guys how to trade with uh, Team of the Weeks and uh, a few ideas of what you can do to definitely make some coins and uh, yeah, it will just a useful video for you guys to generate some fairly simple coins on a uh, FIFA 21. If you do enjoy, make sure to drop a like and drop a sub. Um, if we could get the aim is a thousand subs uh, by June, which is when my birthday is. Um, at the minute, we're going to smash that. So, but we do need your guys' help. Obviously, if you can drop a sub and drop a like, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, but other than that, we are going to get straight into it. So, as you can see on screen, we have uh, the previous team of the week. This card here is uh, Debushi. Um, obviously, my face cam is covering it, but I'm not going to turn my face cam off just for the, um, just for the point of a Debushi. However, basically, what this video is going to be first, the first segment is going to be the out of pack investing, and the second video is going to be the actual team of the week investment, investing. Um, they're both like medium budget, you don't need the highest of budgets, but you can do it dependent on the coins that you do have. Um, you are going to see me do the new team of the week when that drops, you're going to see me do the out of, uh, out of pack investing live. Um, so that'll be fairly decent. We are going to go be going off Xbox prices today, um, just due to the fact that Xbox is the main console that I'm trading on at the minute. Um, but yeah, in terms of last week's team of the week, this is what we had for the starting 11. Obviously we've got the, if we scroll up here can see there's the bench um in terms of the bench the only really good one was andre um however we will uh we will get into this but in terms of out of pack investing what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the cards so we've got one two three four five examples up here um and we're going to look at the cards and see what they did when they went out of uh when the gold cards went out of pack out of packs so what we're going to do is first off we've got mkhitaryan obviously mkhitaryan got an 86 rated left forward um, as you can see, he's currently sat at 2,200. If we just flick off the Xbox price here, um, this was Wednesday, February the 3rd. It was 962 coins and he got as high as 2,400 coins. Um, so if you can pick him up on the Wednesday or even the Thursday, you're still 1,200. He is going to climb, obviously, because he's out of packs. The supply is going to go down. Um, obviously he's demanded a card because Siri RSBC people like to do that Roma especially because future stars are currently in packs um, but you can see here you could have picked him up for probably around a thousand coins um, even if you were to snipe you could probably get him for yeah around around a thousand coins from uh, Thursday going in, well Wednesday going into Thursday definitely um, and then as you can see on Friday he took a huge part to 2400 coins now you could have sold and got out of him then but even now on the uh, Wednesday at five o'clock at the time of recording this, um, it's two thousand two hundred coins. So if you were to buy, say, ten of them, you're you're going to be pretty much doubling your coins and all the cards. So that that's an example of someone who's like low, uh, low meta, low meta, no low demanded cards because obviously he's got the league SPC. People are going to want to use him. Um, another example of this was Andre. This card didn't really do as much. Uh, we'll flick off the PlayStation prices again, but you can see here about 800 coins on um, Wednesday. He climbed as high as whatever he is now, 1,700. Um, so obviously that's once again pretty much a double in value, um, 900 to 1,000. Yeah, pretty much a uh, double in value. So once again, if you want to pick up the, this type of card, then uh, definitely, definitely a good play. Um, the reason for this one, I'd probably say, once again, he's Lee Gun. Um, however, he's a rare French CDM. People tend to use like the major nations, um, and major nations from the major league is huge when doing SBCs. So he'd probably be a fairly demanded card. He's not the lowest of rating either, AU rated. So um, that will probably explain the reasoning for uh, such a such a spike that he had. Um, but next one, we're going to move on to a bit higher budget here. Um, Latoro Martinez, obviously fodder at the minute, is extortionate. Um, and if you look at Latoro Martinez, when he went out of packs on Wednesday, he was 10,000 coins. He's now 15,000 coins, meaning he's gone up 5k. You've, you've got, uh, basically, if you were to buy one for 10k, 
you've got a 50% return, a 50% profit return on that. Uh, obviously, excluding EA tax. And you're going to get 5,000 coins profit on a 10,000 coin spend, which is absolutely absurd. If you're going to, if you buy like, say, 10 of these, um, that's 50,000 coins off just 10 of these. And that is mental. T buying 10 of these, like, it's not like there's a lot of, um, it's not like you're sniping against other people either. You can very easily pick them up, even on bid. Um, a good way to do it, uh, shout out to Fuzz for uh, telling me this. Um, well, telling everyone, obviously. He does like some of the best training videos, if not the best training videos on uh, YouTube. Um, late night bidding is insane. So for late night, say, say 2 in the morning UK time, you can go and bid on these and you'll probably be able to pick some up for like 8k or something stupid. Obviously, you don't want to be using these players now, just to clear that up. Uh, you want to be using the new team of the week, and you're going to see me do it in this video. However, um, obviously, you've got to try and learn it the next Wednesday when the new team of the week drops. Um, it's bad timing on my part, and I apologise for that, but I feel like me, me showing the way that I do it is definitely going to help people. Um, but yeah, the Lotaro Martinez, high-rated fodder, into Argentina, uh, Serie A, obviously. Not the most meta, meta players, but people are going to use him for SBCs, and that is my reasoning for him going up so high. Same with Milinkovic Savage, as you can see here, an 85 rated for 24,000 coins. You flick off the PlayStation thing, and he was on Wednesday, he was 17,000 coins, so he's gone up 7k. Um, obviously, you have to put a bit more into him there to get it. Don't know why he's turned into a headliner, but um. To buy him in the first place, you're gonna the initial cost is gonna be higher, but technically there is more profit in it. And he did get as high as 26k, which was nearly extinct. So if you get out of the right time on these cards, you're gonna be making bank. And last but not least, I don't want to ramble on about these for too long. Um, we've got Chiellini, who, if you look at his daily graph again, he is currently 52,000 coins. Went out of packs on Wednesday. He was 40,000 coins. Um, and he went as high as 56,000 coins. So he's gone up a total of 16k um, from the Wednesday to Tuesday. Obviously, you do have to hold these cards for a bit. The more you hold them, the more profit you are going to get. Um, but it's just a great rate of trade, and you can literally dump some of these in your club, um, and then you've got to forget about them. You can even, I mean, technically, if you're not going to open packs, you can go on a signed. Um, Transfer list has got 100 spaces. If you're not going to be doing much trading, you can fill up even just like 20 of these cards, like 20 across all of these, because you want to spread your bets. Because obviously, if you go heavy into one and it doesn't and it flops, then it's a bit, it's not going to do very well. Um, but yeah, in terms of these cards, they're all great money makers. And what we're going to do is I'm going to come back at six o'clock and we're going to rash, uh, rash slash rush invest into uh, all of the 6 p.m. content, uh, all of the 6 p.m. team of the week content, and uh, we're gonna, um, we'll probably do a results video in like a week, uh, showing what to do, and then explaining the same method again, and showing the profit that I made from it. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do at six, so I'll be right back for you, for me, I'm off to have some dinner, and then we'll be back at six for the team of the week. All right, lads, um, I'm back. I've literally just finished having my tea. I haven't seen the team of the week yet. Um, we're gonna go ahead and load it up here. Um, ah, oh, you're taking the piss. Open's not loading it. There we go, we got it on Twitter. Um, oh, it's not loading now. Who we got? Um, Oyazaba looks decent. Uh, how much is he? How inflated is he? Not actually that bad. Probably getting cheaper than this. Wanna get him as cheap as possible. Alright, we'll buy. We'll, we'll settle on five areas of owls. Um who else do we want to get? Um, ba -da 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 -da. like the pie. Mr. Pie. 85. 17,000. 
Tell you what. Now nah, we're gonna go. We're gonna try and get some the pies. Um. Hi. He's already heavily up. Yeah, I'm gonna. Not gonna go for that the pie. Um. Gabriel Police. There could be a shot, maybe. Uh. Gabriel Polista, how much is he supposedly going for? 2,500. Holy graph. Ah. He got more inflated throughout the day. Um. We'll see what he's looking like now, but. Can't imagine it being very promising, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, no, we're gonna give that a miss as well. Um, not actually that good of a team of the week for this. Sterling's at 44. Tell you what, I'm gonna go and pick up only one Sterling because he's fairly expensive. Um, preferably one with the Hunter. Might just try and snipe him to be fair. Um, I reckon we can get one sniping. To be fair, he's not actually gone up that much. I'm not going to take that one. Okay. Yeah, he is actually going up as we speak. Okay. I'll take that one. 44,000 I'll take. Um, but looking at other cards, there's not really anything else that takes my, uh, takes my interest. Maybe a Luke Shaw? Um, we'll see. We'll see about Luke Shaw. Uh, Luke Shaw, UCL. 2.2. Um, well, he was 2.2 anyway. Um, we can get him like 2.5 and under. I might. Tell you what, I think I'm going to hook up on a few Luke Shaws. That's one. I'll go with five again. Two, three, four. Right, there's five. Decent. Um. Other than that, though, I mean, I could go into a Varan. Jim Pembe could be decent. Personal Kim Pembe, how much is he up? Oh wow. He's up 5.3. Yeah, nah, he's, he's already too inflated for me. Um, It's not that good of a team of the week. I think I'm just going to cut my losses there. I'll tell you what could be interesting, Jesse Lingard. Because he's only just got his... Uh, West Ham card and he's he's West Ham card yeah he's now gone into gone out of packs bit of a risky one I think I mean <laughs> it could be extremely uh, extremely annoying and uh, pick up some of the Man United ones and try and sell them off as a West Brom, uh, West Ham. <laughs> but it doesn't look like I can get any of the West Ham cards. Um, I think I'm going to leave it as that. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to leave it as that. Um, anyway, I will be right back with the uh, last trading method of the video. So yeah, I'll be right back. Um, there we go. All right. Um, Luke Shaw is our left back here, by the way. But this is the team of the week that we've got at the minute. Now, it's it's going to be hard to tell, um, obviously, off the initial prices because team of the week's been out 10 minutes. However, we're going to look at some out-of-pack investing that you can do for the actual team of the weeks themselves. But you can pick these up probably, I mean, lightning rounds probably uh, Sunday probably be the best time, uh, in my opinion. But you want to bas basically be looking at either meta cards or... Um, 
meta cards that hopefully won't get another upgrade or another team of the week or a better card in general or uh fodder so in terms of fodder uh this guy if you can get him 12k and below and sammy he'd be decent obviously he's off league and off nation but 84 rated in form you can get him like 12k and under that'll be decent uh what we are gonna do is we're gonna load up footman again here and if we go cheapest players by rating and we go golden form apply field apply filters you can see here that the cheapest 84 is like 20k so if this guy if you can get this guy probably like 15k and below um i'd say that he's worth going in on the rb i don't see being um very good due to the fact that i feel like it'd hold maybe it'd probably hold a fairly high price um was this card an sbc no it wasn't but yeah, I, f I feel like this guy will hold a fairly high price and he's just probably not really worth investing on. Um, Raheem Sterling, obviously it's his highest rated card at the minute. don't think this card's a live card, it isn't. Um, however, obviously he's big coins and I wouldn't really I wouldn't really invest into him. Uh, Luke Shaw will be a good one depending on how cheap he gets. Obviously this, is an, this offers insane links. It's a left back, it's an inform. Um... I do, I do think that this card will be good if you could get it like maybe 25k and under. I'd say in a few, in a maybe two weeks afterwards you'll be looking at about 30k plus on this card. Um, mainly due to fodder value. But I feel like that Luke Shaw will be decent. Um, Muslera obviously an 84. Same applies with him. You can get this guy like 15k and under maybe. Then this guy would uh, be a good card to go in. Gabriel Polista. Um, Offers some great links, obviously, as he is Brazil. Um, and obviously, A4 rated in form. He's good fodder. Um, in terms of an actual card, he doesn't look that good. Obviously, you whack a shadow on him. It looks better, but still, not that good. But I can't see him being that much. Could, could definitely be a good buy in terms of, uh, in terms of fodder. Uh, Perrin. Perrin will be a good buy. Um, in terms of fodder, you want to be looking like 20k and under on this card again. Obviously, good links, so uh, he will he will rise uh, as fodder is required more and more, which it is um, fairly frequently. Uh, Kimpembe will be decent, however, I don't see him being too cheap. Um, obviously, that price is completely unreliable at the minute because Tim Elite's been out 30 minutes. But honestly, probably not probably not the best card to go in and buy. Um, 86 rated, which is decent. Oh, you Zabel. Um, not the worst of fodder. Do I see him rising, though? He keeps that price that he's got. This is literally... Have they just copy and pasted his card? They literally have. Obviously, that headline is going to get an upgrade, though, so he's going to go to an 88. Or is he? I'm not actually that sure. He should do. Yeah. Um... Yeah, Ozarbo's a bit of a sticky one. Morales looks like a fairly, fairly decent card. His 82 held some decent value. Um, if we go and look at his 82s... To be fair... If you can get this 84 for like... 40k and under... I'd say that I'd, I'd see him going up. Because he's not actually that bad of a card. 4 star, 4 star. 40k and under, this card would rise out of packs fairly nicely, I believe. Um, we've said Muslero, we've talked about Shaw. Obviously, Varane's a beast. Probably not that good for trading wise. The pie going to be too expensive. Uh, Sterling going to be too expensive. DRB probably going to be too expensive for the fodder value. Ozar was a bit of a sticky one. This guy's good fodder value. Uh, Angelino could be a bit, of a, a bit of an interesting one. I maybe could have picked up some of his cards here for... Nah, they've got Halstenberg as well. Not really much point in that. Um, this card could be decent. It would have been a lot better if it was left back, but he offers good links. If if this card gets probably what, probably again, if if, if you can get this card for like fifteen k and under, it'll definitely rise. But all of these will rise at some point. Um, like if we go back now, um, go to Team of the Week one. Um. You can see here that like there isn't none of these cards are under 20k oh no there's one two but like this card there's no reason for it to have 20k and you would have been able to put you would have been able to pick him up for look nine thousand coins and he just slowly and gradually this this is just how team of the week works 
Um, he's up to 30k at one point, so you know, genuine, genuinely, I feel like if you can club stock all of these at the cheapest, like this guy, 10.5k, why not? This guy's Bundesliga, I believe. Um, if you can get him cheap, go for it. Um, this guy, Argentinian left mid, why not? You can get him for like 9k, cheap as chips. Lingard, if he gets cheap, go for him. Uh, Almiron, same. Literally, just... It's it's a bit of guessing. It does require you to use your own brain a tiny bit. Um, but I've given my recommendations. Hopefully you can use these recommendations and uh, make some coins. If you do make coins, um, and it does go successful, let me know down below. Uh, how many coins you make i am not going to be doing the team of the weeks but obviously you've seen me already in the last segment doing the out of pack investing um but yeah that is going to be the end of the video guys thank you guys all for watching um hopefully i'll see you in the next one and uh yeah make sure if you haven't already to check out the 85 plus double upgrade video that we did just upload probably two hours ago at the time of this going up uh, so make sure you definitely check that out but that's going to be the end of the video guys if you've got any questions leave them down below in the comments and i'll try and get back to you and help you but other than that that'll be me out peace